Hey guys, um, uh, this past Tuesday was March 19th, and uh, that was the day that Jenny was officially diagnosed with cancer. Um, as we went through our cancer journey, um, Jenny brought up to me uh, each time that date came up. The first time she was uncomfortable, the second time she was like, let's celebrate that day. And I remember why she wanted to celebrate it because she wanted to show how strong she was, how cancer wasn't gonna stop her, how it was something to be grateful for another year. Um, and to show how hard she like persevered through it all. Um, so she told me one thing that, um, that we needed to continue to do was <coughs> continue to celebrate that day uh, forever. And don't forget about it. And this is another one of those things where some people may look at it and say, what are you talking about? You're celebrating the day that she was diagnosed. And to that I say, yep, <laughs> that was my wife. That is my wife. Always different, always ahead of the curve, always doing things a little out of the ordinary, which is why I think everybody fell in love with her. Um, so she made me promise, um, her sister promise, everybody promised close to her that we would celebrate March 19th, for years and years and years, forever and ever. And it's one way to keep her memory going on and on, right? We um, we talked about mommy a little extra that day, a little more than usual. We went out to a special dinner, which you guys will see. We had Ellis's baseball practice as usual, but um, it was just a nice day. And the date really, really crept up on me. I didn't even realize it was... March 19th, uh, but I was just talking to Ashley about it and we both said that we wanted to go out to dinner and um, just do something special for her. Um, and it was nice, um, a little sad, right? It's the day that literally changed our lives forever. My wife's, mine, my kids, her family, everybody connected to her all of you, I mean, it changed, it changed our life. And I'll never forget that day. Um, and I know she talked about it in one of her early videos, but you know, some of you asked what her early signs what were. Um, some of her early signs were pain on the left side, left, where am I? Left side of her body. Um, like rib pain, almost back pain, not really back, but mainly all rib area, um, and then shortness of breath. So um, I remember when I finally convinced her to go back to the doctor when it got so bad, she was crying in the bed to me one night and like, what do I do? And I wrote down a whole bunch of things and her sister gave her advice and I gave her advice and told her that you gotta go in and, and, and not be so nice. <laughs> And she struggled with that, but she did. And I remember she went in and it was hours. I think she spent maybe six, seven hours in urgent care. Awful. Um, and they did blood tests and they did an x-ray and they said, you're fine. Like, I don't know what you want us to do. And she called me crying and what do I do? And I said, you demand a scan. You say, you're not leaving there until you scan me. And we didn't know what we were looking for. At the time, I thought I was looking for like a, a slipped out of place rib or a ripped muscle or something. That's why I wanted her scan. I wasn't thinking cancer. Um, so then she uh, demanded that scan and they did it. And I remember she called. Um, I remember she called and
she had so much fear in her voice, but bravery at the same time, if that makes sense. But she called and first thing she said to me was, they found something. I said, what, what, are we, what are you talking about? What does that mean? And she's like, they don't know. And I said, found something like cancer? Like, like that? She said, yeah, I think so. Um, this isn't the diagnosis day. This is what led up to it. But, And then she called me afterwards and said there was a mass on her lung. It just didn't make sense. But we knew that day um, that everything had changed. Um, everything had changed. But um, I want to see if I can find a little clip in my phone. I don't know if it was my phone or Jenny's phone. Of the day we were diagnosed, um, we went and got frozen yogurt or acai bowls. I don't remember what it was, but you could just see the sadness in her eyes, but she was still trying to be funny and laugh. I was still trying to crack jokes, so we were scared. And I don't remember how long it was after then we got the biopsy done. I know that was on St. Patrick's Day. So St. Patrick's Day is what, the 17th? And Two whole long days after that, we had to wait and got a call on the 19th. Late afternoon. Um, must have been a weekend, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe like a Monday. It was COVID, so everyone was at home. And uh, we got a call from the pulmonologist, I want to say. Um... And Jenny picked up the phone, answered it, and put it on speaker, and we were both scared, and we kind of knew, I think. I had done a lot of research after we found the mass, and nothing sounded good on the internet, but I just chose to not even look at that, and I remember putting in tons of prayer requests and asking people to pray for us, and and then they, I don't remember the exact words, but sh the pulmonologist said, it's its cancer. Just plain as can be like that. And, and Jenny started crying. and Dropped the phone. Uh, and I instantly picked it up and started my pace walking that I do when I'm nervous. And pace walked outside um, so that Jenny didn't have to hear it. And I just said, what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? How do I get her treatment? Where and when do we start? Just all these questions and none of them could be answered. Um, that's the way cancer works. It takes time. And we just did not want to wait around. And um, I remember that day and the days after, right? It was um, this awful, awful feeling you have in your stomach, in your chest, in your heart. Uh, you wake up and it's cancer, and you go to bed and it's cancer, and in the middle of the day it's cancer, and as soon as you feel okay for a minute, cancer pops in your head. It's really hard. And it does get better and easier, at least for the mind, as you go on. Now I am speaking from the caregiver's point of view, but I know Jenny did share that with me. I know it was always hard, but there were better points. And... Um, yeah, that's the day we found out she had cancer. We found out it was in some, well, I don't know if we found out it was in lymph nodes or not. I think they just confirmed cancer. Then we had to do the PET scan and that's when we confirmed where it was in the lymph nodes in the chest and in the, in the lung. But I'll never forget 2.5 centimeter spiculated mass. That's what I Googled a thousand times and Everything I Googled said cancer, 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 cancer. So um, it was it was devastating, heartbreaking. Uh, we didn't know how to like tell the kids and what this meant for our life. And it's just a day we'll never forget. But the reason I'm crying now, um, 
she didn't want the day to be sad. She didn't want the day to be me crying or kids crying. She wanted us to remember how hard she fought, all the treatments she did, how long she tried to stay here for her kids and her husband. So that's why we celebrate March 19th with whatever, going to dinner, talking about mommy, because she did not want it to be a sad day or a day not talked about or a day not discussed or a day forgotten. She didn't want that. Um, I know this video is a little after her cancerversary, but um, yeah, I would just encourage any of you to just think a couple positive thoughts of my wife. Just keep that positivity in the air because she deserves it. Say her name. Uh, she was such a fighter. Uh, and you guys know I've said this in many videos, but um, I'm just filming this to keep this tradition alive. I hope that you know, as many of us can circle March 19th on our calendars, I know it's not a happy thing in our minds, but it's something she wanted us all to remember and celebrate her cancer anniversary and how hard she fought every day to be here every single day. So, um... Um, so what did we do? We, I, like I said, we went out to dinner, had a, had a nice dinner with all the kids and Ash and Brad, and we had baseball practice, um, and, um, the kids and I wrote little letters to mommy and it's just a good, a good day to remember mom, to celebrate mom, to talk about mom and there's going to be some some big days coming up, you know, Mother's Day, Jenny's birthday, um, Winnie's birthday. I, there's just a lot of things coming up that scare me, but this was a little preview and I'm proud of us for celebrating it, remembering all the good that Jenny did, all the good. So March 19th. 2021, yeah, 2021, because March of 23 was two years, yeah, two and a half years. Everything I read when I first Googled her cancer was, you know, they basically gave her from one to five years max, and I thought that's such BS, you know, BS. She got two and a half years. It's amazing how cancer can take such a healthy person and just annihilate them. It's such a scary thing, but it never annihilated her spirit, right? Like I've said many times. So keep that day alive in your memory and just know that it was Jenny, the words of my wife who wanted to celebrate that day. Keep that day in all of our minds and all of our thoughts um, so March 19th. All right. Love you guys.
Move your feet. Go back, go back, go back. Good. Go to, good job going to the ball. Okay. So when I say go, then you're going to throw. Use your leg. Point. 